Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, they just, uh, could you please confirm uh, if you can hear me? Yes, we are audible when we can start now. Yeah, thank you so much. So, good afternoon, all. This is Jagruti, and I'm host for today's session. Today, we'll discuss on topic of document formatting with QR code, digital signature, e signatures, etc. So, before we start, stay tuned your questions for question answer session via chat. Now let me introduce uh, my company to you. So Simtrax is into enterprise software solutions. We are having 30 plus years of industry experience. We are into technological innovation to fulfill customer needs. And we have 3000 plus customers across different sectors with total seven years of average of customer loyalty. We are having headquarters in Los Angeles and global presence having offices worldwide. In India, we have the office in Mumbai and Pune for APAC region. Let's have a look on customers. We are the customers in different industries. We are not an industry specific solution provider. In manufacturing industry, we are the customers like Volkswagen, Volvo, Tata Chemicals, Asian Pens, etc. In finance industry, we are the customers like Citibank, HSBC, etc. In FMCG and food industries, we are the customers like Coca Cola, Bacardi, Haribo, etc. Moving further, in pharma industry, we are the customers like Himalaya Files, etc. And in other industries, we are the customers like Dani Bhaskar, Times Publishing Group, etc. Let's set up agenda for today. So we all are aware about uh, digitization initiatives from Indian government in terms of e-invoicing. So similarly, from uh, 1st of July onwards, implementation of dynamic QR code for B2C invoices with direct payment transfer facility is mandatory. So in that regard, so we will discuss about QR code and other features of Compilio that will help you to enhance your existing ERP document. And of course, due to COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and in continuation in 2021 as well, digital transformation has highest priority in the B2B industry. So we'll discuss about digital signature, e-signatures. I will discuss some uh, case studies with you, and then we will have the question and answer session. So to take this further, Again, we will discuss uh, what are the challenges involved in terms of document enhancement. So sometimes ERP documents are not fully customized as per end user's needs. Uh, sometimes they're not presentable or there could be lack of branding on the document. Or uh, if you want to add graphical elements like uh, uh, logo or uh, QR code, barcode, etc. Or uh, if you are already using pre-printed stationery, then there is a less flexibility while doing changes in your existing ERP forms. Another challenge could be a like frequent change requests. So you have to do the lot of efforts in existing ERP. You might have to do the change request cycle where requests go to the technical team or functional team for the approval. Then it goes to the programming team. Or you might have to outsource to the third party. So for that, like cost and time is involved. Along with that, if you want to attach or if you want to send some supplementary documents or some uh, compliance related document to be like terms and condition to your customers or vendor. So for that, you have to do the manual intervention for sending all these documents. So these are the challenges involved in terms of document enhancement. Of course, you might have the other challenges involved in terms of uh, different business processes. So if you want to discuss in detail, we can discuss uh, after this webinar in question and answer session, or you can simply text us in the chat window and we will address your queries in question and answer session. Now, moving further, let's have a quick poll. Moving further, now you can see here. First question, how often do you have to incorporate customization or document change request? First option is a monthly, second quarterly, third annually, and fourth rarely. I request you to cast your vote. I can wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, thank you so much for your voting. Moving further, now we'll uh, discuss how we can overcome these obstacles using Complio. So at right hand side, you can see the document that we have created using Complio. In compared to earlier document, which was a plain vanilla invoice. So for SAP, if you're using SAP ERP, so we can use your existing SAP smart form or SAP script. For other ERPs, uh, we can use your existing ERP documents as well. 
So using Compilio, it's a simple drag and drop interface. You can use it. The solution, there, there were no any special IT skills are required, or I can say no programming efforts are required. You can do it by yourself, which will be very fast and easy. If you want to add marketing campaigns, if you want to add any additional components, as I mentioned, like logos or uh, QR code, barcodes, you can add that. Also, apart from that, it will help to increase customer experience by providing standardized invoice or purchase orders. Along with that, we can provide you customized form templates. So if you want to eliminate your pre-printed stationery, it will help. Along with that, if you want to send customized email content to your every customer, that will be also possible. Now moving further, we'll discuss business case for document reformatting, which is a dynamic QR code for B2C invoices. So uh, like B2B QR code, which consists of a uh, gestion of the supplier, gestion of the buyer, invoice number, invoice date of generation, invoice value. So same details will be required in dynamic QR code B2C, except two details. First is a gestion of the buyer. So as a B2C customer, it's unregistered person. So in that case, taxpayer can mention his gestion or name. Second is a payment reference link. So taxpayer must include payment reference link uh, so that recipient can redirect it to the payment link and it helps to promote the digitalization in the payment process by the Indian government. So we end process uh, for implementation of this kind of project for our customers. Some of the customers is like uh, Pit Engineering and uh, Rallys India. Now moving further, I want to show you the demonstration for this B2C QR code. So you can see this is our client software where you will get all the details when document is processed for uh, QR code process. Now here, this is the input we are defined. So input either you can process it from your ERP and that document will be captured in Compilio or you can use this folder and you can manually dump input here. You can see this is the input file. So you, can, you have to simply dump it into this folder. And then document will be captured here in the computer gateway. Now you can see the status has been changed as a send, then processing, and then it will change as a processed. And output, you can have it here as well, or you will get it as required. Now here output, uh, we have uh, uh, defined here folder, which is output folder. Output, you will get it here likewise. You can see here output, we have received in the folder, and we received the file here as well. Let me open that file for you. Now this is the QR code along with the all the details and B2C customer can simply scan this QR code and it will route for the payment process. So this is the demonstration for B2C QR code. Let's have a quick poll. And does your business include B2C vertical? First option is yes, and second is no. I request you to cast your vote. Yeah, I will wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, thank you so much for your voting. Now we'll discuss how all these applications can be achieved using Compio. So this is a typical architecture of Compio. At left hand side in the first block, you can see SAP and IBM ERP. So for SAP and IBM, we have the certified integration with SAP and IBM respectively. For other ERP and other applications which allows the API integration, we can integrate using API connector. Or we can capture incoming attachment using email connector and we can process it further. Or we can use SFTP approach. So let's take an example of SAP ERP. So SAP user can simply process the document from SAP. Then school will be captured in Compio using SAP certified connector. Then predefined template will be applied automatically in the background. And that template designing is a one-time activity. And to design that template, there is no need programming efforts are required. So output will be created and it will be distributed automatically. So at right hand side, you can see multi-channel distribution platform where output can send via email. It can be printed. It can archive. It can send for workflow for approval. It can be converted into XML, Excel. It can push back in SAP DMS or a computer DMS. It can store on cloud repositories like SAP, Amazon S3 bucket, etc. Similarly, for other ERPs or application, we can capture the document and we can process it as required. Now 
moving further now i'm going to discuss business case from the leading natural gas uh, distribution organization so they are using uh, sap api but they are having the challenges in grn label creation and its printing so their current process was like vendor has provided one template and their team has to do manual entry from sap like uh, material code pure number gr number material description they have to manually copy paste from uh, from sap and they have to put it to that uh, vendor template and then they have to take care of the respective size as well because it should be into 100 mm to 50 mm and then they are getting print from thermal printer so considering this uh, manual sap entry and required size format uh, we propose a solution where we already designed the template and we are querying the data from their uh, different sap table and the process was like they can simply process the document from their sap like they can simply process the pure number or material code then document is captured in company using certified connector the template will be applied and output will be created and distributed as required so we are distributed output to the thermal printer so in this way we help them to reduce their manual efforts along with the end to end automation so to take this further i want to discuss another business case uh, uh, of our customer who is a leading tire manufacturer so they are having sap erp with two factory location 57 cnfs and eight oem warehouses so their problem was for like invoices credit note debit note present layout for all these documents are in portrait format so due to this uh, accommodation of new or existing information on the document a lot of space was required on pages and that's why it result to have increasing number of pages and uh, apart from that it was also difficult to change portrait to landscape format in sap with the short notice and uh, along with that creation of qr code as well which was demanded by the oem customer so due to this implication they were facing like a high amount of stationery was increased and due to this high number of pages was increased storage was another challenge for all these uh, documents and manual distribution was time consuming so in complete you we have converted their uh, document into portrait to landscape format we have distributed documents over email and we have provided them qr code as well so there are reasons to choose simplex solution first is sap certified integration second we managed complex layout changes third we have distributed documents over email apart from that we can send uh, for printing we can uh, upload to respective uh, sharepoint or we can push back in sap dms and another reason that we have successfully done the poc as well now moving further i want to discuss architecture for digital signature this is a distributor architecture for example if you have the different plant warehouses and your signatures are distributed across different locations at that time you can use this architecture using dongle so the process is at point number 1 erp user can simply process the document he might be authority he might not be authority then document will be captured in complio then document will route to the respective authority intelligently authority can review this document and then using dongle he can sign the document if authority don't don't want to review the document then auto signing option is available and then document will be distributed automatically now here if the authority want to have the printing he can have the printing and for that client software has to install on authority system and dongle need to be plugged on now moving further we will discuss central signing so here dongle need not to be used for that pfx or hsm and that has to be used on server location now here erp user will simply process the document document will be captured in complio document will be signed centrally and then document will be distributed as required now for printing if your printers are on network then document will route to the respective printer if your printers are not on network that is stand alone or local printer then client software has to install now you can see the uh, example in the cement industry the huge document volume is there and uh, like almost 300 400 printing uh, location uh, there and of course there is a in month end there is a huge document volume so in that case validation is not required but printing should be there so you can use the central signing for digital signature process now moving further like one of the prevailing question across market is what approach is right for any organization whether it is a distributed approach or whether it is centralized approach so we'll discuss more on that so the prerequisite required for a dongle approach uh, of course a digital signature certificate token that is dongle is required because the documents are processed from erp and they are sending to the respective authority system for signing using dongle so dongle uh, has to be plugged on authority system and there should be connectivity between signature system and so on now prerequisite using uh, uh, ppfx 
So for that, PFX file will be used and it will be stored on server location. And for HSM, HSM device and digital signature certificate is required. And there should be connectivity between HSM and application. So to application, document will be fetched fetch from HSM and it will be applied to the respective documents. So to move further, we'll discuss benefits in terms of dongle approach. So authority here can review the document before signing and you will be accountable for that process. And here two level authentication is there and signatures available on individual name or on company's name. Now benefits with PFX approach. Now here of course dongle is not required because PFX will be installed on server location. So this approach is useful in bulk signing when validation is not required. Now we we'll see the benefits with HSM approach. The most important benefit with HSM approach is HSM uh, like uh, signatures are very secure and it cannot be accessed by an authorized postman. And here also multi-factor authentication is uh, possible and signatures available on individual's name or on company's name. Now we'll uh, discuss the challenges involved in dongle approach. Now discontinuity signing may be possible due to unavailability of authority and here dongle has to be plugged always to the authority system for signing purposes. Now challenges in terms of PFX approach. So here a single level security may create security concern if a proper security uh, features are not available in your premise. Also PFX is available on organization's name only. In compare with HSM, HSM device is very expensive to procure and maintain. I hope I have explained well about all these three approaches. Still, if there are any queries, we can discuss in our question and answer session. Now, let's have a quick poll. So, when do you plan on adopting digital signature solution? So, first is already implemented. Second, looking for solution on priority. And the uh, third option, under consideration and not anytime soon. So I request to cast your vote. Yeah, I will wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, thank you so much for your voting. Now we'll see the demonstration for document reformatting along with the digital signature. So on the screen, you can see this is the test environment of SAP. So I'm using transition code VF31 and I will change processing mode as a two. Now I'm going to show you the uh, uh, print preview of this document. Now you can see this is the plain manual invoice. Now this document, if you want to enhance or if you want to have the digital signature. So for reformatting purpose, of course, you have to do some changes in the existing ERP forms. But using Complio, we can do that without any programming. For that, ERP user has to simply process this document. Now document will be captured in Complio and then it will send to the respective authority for signing. Now first, we will see the demonstration for uh, digital signatures in dongle approach. Now you can see on the client software, authority will see the notification. You can simply click on this and you can review this document. Now here, authority can either sign this document or he can reject this document. Let's assume I have signed this document. Now the status of that notification will be changed as a signed document. Now you can see here status has been changed as a signed document. Now here, this is a reformatted document where we added a QR code, we have fetched this email address from SAP table. This is a properly tabulated data. We can do the conditional based formatting as well. We added here metal specific barcodes. If you want to fetch some details from SAP and you have to do the calculation, we can do that as well. We had a multi-language text as well. If you want to add any Arabic content or any different language content, we can do that as well. This is an ink signature, digital signature, which is a valid one. Along with that, we can add bank details, in the footer, we can add marketing campaigns, which is also dynamic in nature. And based upon the uh, customer ID and customer name, we can fetch the right contract and we can display it here. So we can make the two-page document as the ERP document was a one-page document. And then output, we can distribute it as required. We can push back in SAP DMS, we can distribute over email. So on the screen, you can see here. Now, if you're using central signing, then document will be signed centrally and then it will be distributed automatically. Now, let me open that document. 
Now this is a digital signed document. Now, if authority don't want to review this document in a dongle approach, then in client software, authority simply enable this option. You can see on the screen, let authority, let remote agent sign all documents automatically. Now documents are signed and then it will be distributed automatically. So this is a demonstration for a digital signature along with the reformatting of the document. Now moving further, I want to discuss another business case of a digital signature using HSM. This business case is from the paint industry. So at the left hand side, you can see the current situation. We will go the anti-clockwise. Now here they're using SAP RP. HSM is already implemented. Now I want to discuss their earlier process so before implementation of Complio for digital signing. So like Adobe Lifecycle Designer, uh, they're uh, uh, using to uh, design the PDF and that was connected to HSM through ABAP programming and then they're getting signature out of it. Their earlier process was like SAP user, they're processing the document, then school was sent to the respective uh, cup server, then automatically it will route to the respective printer for printing. The biggest issue they were facing, uh, which was a validity issue, because when SAP user print the document, then a uh, digital signed document uh, automatically will route to the respective printer for printing in depot location. So there's a print, so uh, they can see the green tick mark. But what happens sometimes, uh, like when they're saving the document to folder or when they're sending the document to their customer over email, at that time the signature was disappearing and signature was becoming invalid. Along with that, printing has also some challenges. Like when SAP, sometimes they are directly getting print from SAP. So sometimes it was generated, sometimes it was not generated. So they have to do the manual process in that. Like uh, original duplicate, duplicate copies has to be generated. And in case of printing issue, their SAP team has to save all documents manually into the folder and then they have to send that document to the respective depots. So at that time, again, validity was an issue. So uh, all this, uh, due to all these issues, they were facing implications in terms of uh, ABAP programming because uh, to resolve this issue, they had tried a lot through ABAP, but they was not unable to do that. Also, there was a delay in process due to manual process of distribution. And their, their B2B customer was also demanding for the digital signed document over email. So considering all these challenges, we have resolved the issues. So first, we have resolved the issue for validity along with the green tick mark. Second, we have the resolved issue with printing because we have installed client software at the depot location for real-time printing and we have distributed all required documents over email as well. So there are reasons to do syntax solution. First is the ABAP cost, of course. Second, they were unable to file alternate option. Third, we have done successful POC. And fourth, they have seen future business scope with syntax because after that, uh, after this implementation of this uh, solution, we have implemented EDA solution as well. So digital signed document, we are uploaded to their customer's portal using given API. And we are in process of OD report customization requirement. And uh, also we are into discussion of the QR code as well. So this is our success story from the paint industry. Now moving further, uh, we will discuss the uh, application, which is e-signing. So here I would like to discuss some, uh, some business scenarios, like uh, there could be a delay in your delivery, uh, delivery note acknowledgement from the customer, or there might be possibility like at customer end, there, there are multiple authorities for the approval, or due to this COVID-19 situation, everyone is working from home. So HR might be required to have the digital uh, like uh, sign order or sign letter from the new journey or new journey would like to have the sign of a letter from the HR and vice versa. So for this kind of activity, of course, manual intervention is a type of work is involved. But using complex web sign solution, we can help you to get real-time acknowledgement for document or goods delivered. So the process is you can see the architecture. So ERP user can simply process the document or if you want to manually uh, like dump the document to the folder, you can do that. The document will send to the respective authority for the signing and approval. Now let's see the demonstration for that. Now here I will uh, uh, take example of the task order. Now as I mentioned it, you can simply process your ERP document as well, or you can dump it into the folder. Now this is the document, uh, which is a task order. Now you can see on the screen. So creator of this document, you can simply save the document from the desktop as well. Now you can see on the screen here, this document should go to the customer's uh, uh, site for signing and approval, and then it should go back for uh, approval from your end as well. Now you can see on the screen. So creator can simply save this document from his desktop. Once he saves this document, then automatically it will route to the respective authority for signing. 
before that document will be captured in company supervisor now on the screen you can see it's a half gray that means in the process it's now full gray that means document is processed completely now first level of authority will receive this uh, document and he will simply click on this link so once he click on that link if you want to have the additional security so we can send otp to customer's register mobile number as well so customer can enter that otp and then he can review this document now here we have provided option for uh, comment as well so so details which are not covered here the respective authority can mention here and he can simply save this document before that if you want to have the signature of course then he can add the signature as well now there are three options so based upon your business process based upon your compliance of your organization you can decide which option you would like to adopt for signing now here i have typed the signature and as a as authority i have simply signed this document once i sign this document then document automatically will route to the next authority for signing the next authority will also receive the document over email now you can see here so second level authority will simply click on this link and he will accept that document similarly like same process he can simply add the comment and he can add the signature as well if you want to have the parallel signing process it will be also possible now let me add the comment Now you can see on the screen. Now here he can draw the signature as well, and he can simply save this document. Now the USP is if authority is traveling, so he can access this link or he can access this solution from anywhere from any device, and he can sign that document as well. So if he's a final authority, then your team will receive the document for approval process. Now you can see on the screen, email has received. and then authority from your end he can simply open this document and he can sign this document so he can check it out uh, authority's comment and signature as well and then he can sign it or reject this document so here i will uh, i'm choosing the option for uploading so you can upload the signature uh, either you can save it in your mobile or you can save it in desktop and you can upload it now here you can put the comment and the respective authority can simply sign this document now once signing is done from all the authorities then both the parties will receive the signed documents automatically over email you can see here and the email body will be also customizable now this is the digital signed document and all signatures are valid if i scroll it down then i can see all the comment along with the all the details now here also i want to add if you want to have the logs as well like which authority signed document at what time and if you want to have the uh, uh, like if you are using otp then what are the mobile number that are received the otp on it or if you want to have the geographic location that will be also possible so you will get all the logs like that along with the email address all the actions date time as well Now, along with the reformatting digital signature, we have the other applications as well, such as customized reporting, invoicing, e-bill. We are into processes automation as well, like POS automation, GRN automation, Miro automation. Also, we can provide the EDS solutions as well. So, let's have a quick poll. so which other solution do you find interesting or relevant to your business first option invoicing and ebill second edi third processes automation and fourth document and report enhancement so i request you to cast your vote
Yeah, I will wait for a few more seconds. Yeah, thank you so much for your voting. So if you're planning to adopt a Syntrax solution for document enhancement and digital signature, e-signature, some factors that will be helpful and will influence your decision. So complete actual admin tool, there is no any programming efforts are required. As I mentioned, for SAP and IBM, we have the certified integration. With other ERPs, we can integrate using API connector. So in short, it's a one-stop solution for automation and digitization with multi-channel distribution. So complete can add value to your existing ERP setup, and this is for sure. So thank you so much for a valuable time. If you have any queries, you can simply text us in the chat window, or if you want to show you the demonstration with your business users or with your stakeholders, we are happy to do that as per your convenience. You can simply write us an email for your queries or for the schedule of the demonstration, and we can take this further. So we are open for the questions. I'm waiting for your questions. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, Jagudi, thank you so much for the uh, wonderful webinar. Uh, Jagudi, if you can uh, just confirm if I'm properly audible, man. Yeah, Tejas, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, we have a few questions here uh, that I'll quickly uh, address. And meanwhile, I also request the attendees to post questions in the chat box if there are any questions. So, the first question is, is it mandatory to digitally sign documents after invoicing? So, of course, it's not mandatory. But then as a part of uh, the compliance process and uh, the document security procedures, most of the companies are adopting it. The next question we have is, how quick is the processing for the B2C QR code? So as you already saw during the demo, it takes a few seconds to uh, capture the document, get the data and receive the document back with the QR code on it. Next question is, is there any limit on number of signatories for e-signing? So uh, there's no limit per se in terms of uh, the number of signatories that can be there in loop for any document. Uh, so there's complete flexibility available in that. Next question is, can we design forms from scratch using your tool? Yes, uh, definitely you can design uh, documents from scratch. We have to just figure out the way of getting the right data from the right source for building the document. Next question we uh, have here is, can we have parallel signing mechanism in e-signing? Yes, so like uh, Jagruti mentioned, there is a parallel signing uh, methodology available. So sequential as well as parallel, both signing methods can be uh, implemented. Next question is, how much time does one form take for enhancement changes? Okay, so this is very much dependent on the kind of changes that are supposed to be made. So from a few minutes to probably a couple of three days, for complete uh, form development of scratch, that could be the typical uh, timelines. Next question is, how do we check authenticity of the signing authority in e-signing? Okay, so uh, one is, uh, firstly, the uh, link goes on the email of the concerned person. So that's the first level of check to check the authenticity. And second, if there is high level of confidentiality in any document, we can uh, implement mobile phone-based OTP uh, security level as well like mentioned during the demonstration with Agarwati. Then the next question we have is, which is more popularly used approach for digital signatures? Okay, so uh, so far since the initial phase, a dongle-based approach has been more popular, but like we have seen lately, uh, the central approach is also gaining a lot of traction because of the 24 seven processing and a lot of people not being available in offices. And uh, due to the uh, trouble sometimes faced in handling or management of dongles in case of large number of signatures. The next question is, which is pricing for B2C QR code application? Oh, sorry, what is pricing for B2C QR code application? So uh, that depends on the kind of option you choose. So that is an on-prem solution or a SaaS-based solution. And then it would be dependent on the volume of uh, the documents. Next question we have is, uh, can you add other customized QR codes on documents? Yeah, of course, that's pretty much possible. So similar to B2C QR code, if there are any other QR codes required as per any internal process from logistics department, for example, or from any specific customer, we could uh, do the same as well. So uh, that, these are the questions I had so far. So I request all the attendees to put up any questions in the chat box if uh, there are any questions. Uh, so we'll be there online for a few more minutes to answer your questions. Uh, until then, uh, over to you, Jagruti. 
Thank you, Tejas. Also, here I would like to mention, like, let's assume you have uh, found business case PO to SO uh, applicable for your business process, and if you want to do the POC, then we can do that as well. You can simply send us email for that, and uh, if you want to show the demonstration for your business team, we are also happy to do that. Like we have some customers like Tata Chemicals, Kevin Care, Himalaya, they are using our solution for PO to SO automation. And for uh, uh, digital signature like Asian Prints, again Tata Chemicals, Pitti Engineering, and then Modine. So there are so many customers in India as well, they are using our solution for digital signing. Yeah, so we are waiting for your questions. Also, I would like to mention in Middle East, we have the customers like Aluminum Bahrain. They are using our solution for documentary format. Because they're having so many challenges in terms of SAP script and they want to uh, add their uh, logos. They want to merge different reports into one Excel, one PDF. And we have successfully implemented that project as well. Along with that, Amayanjit Oman, they're using our solution for digitization process. Then we have the Commercial Bank of Qatar. They are using our solution for uh, reporting. Then HSBC also using our solution for reporting. So I can see a lot of audience from the Middle East. So I request you to cast your uh, all questions in the respective uh, chat window. So we'll address accordingly. So uh, we don't have any new questions so far. So I think uh, yeah, we are good from our side. So I'll, I'll be there yeah. for a couple of more minutes. And uh, if there are no questions, then we could conclude. Thank you. OK, this is yeah. So we will wait for a few more seconds. So thank you so much for your time and uh, uh, the recording of this webinar will be shared and uh, we are looking forward for your further